In today's video, I'm going to be reversing Paul George's career, meaning that he'll be starting it off with the Clippers, heading to Oklahoma City, and then ending it with the Indiana Pacers. Throughout his real life career, Paul George has been unable to win a ring, but I wonder if things would be different if his career was reversed. Without any more further ado, let's get into season number one, PG's rookie year with the Clippers. Season is wrapped and unfortunately, Paul George's teammate, Blake Griffin, took home rookie of the year. Now, this isn't necessarily a bad thing because we're going to have an electric young duo here in Los Angeles. I'm sure we'll get our fair share of dunks between Blake Griffin and Paul George. And George had a solid rookie year, giving us about 14 points and six rebounds along with two steals. So already he's been really good on the defensive side of the ball. And as a team, we were incredible. We ended up winning 55 games. I did not expect us to be this good. In round number one, we're gonna be taking on the Houston Rockets. The Rockets have an old Yao Ming. And then they also have like Kevin Martin and Kyle Lowry. This team isn't too crazy, so I think we got this. Game number one is going to go to us. We're going to take game two as well, and we're up three to zero. We're going to easily punch our ticket to round two. And in round two, it's going to be the Spurs. With Tony Parker and Tim Duncan, they're definitely a solid squad. Of course, they've got Manu coming off the bench as well. Game number one of the series is going to go to us. Oh man, we're cooking in these NBA playoffs. Up three to zero. They're going to take game four, but we beat them in five. So in just Paul George's rookie year, we're already in the conference finals, taking on the juggernaut Oklahoma City Thunder. This squad is tough with Russ, Harden, KD, even Serge Ibaka. They're insane. Game number one of the series is going to go to OKC. They also take game two and game three, and we get swept. That Thunder team is going to be tough to beat. But overall, I would say that was a solid rookie campaign for Paul George. I mean, a conference finals appearance in just his first season, that's pretty solid. Headed into season number two, Paul George is up to an 84 overall and Blake Griffin is an 89. This duo is set to be even better this season. Season is wrapped. Kevin Durant takes home MVP. I wonder if we'll see Paul George get any of those at some point in this video. Shout out to Blake Griffin making All-NBA in just his second season. Paul George hasn't made All-NBA just yet, but give him time. I'm sure he'll become an absolute beast. This year, he averaged about 18 points to go with 7 rebounds and 2 steals. The efficiency was also up. So overall, an elite year too, and we find ourselves in the 2 seed once again. We take care of Denver in six in round number one, and in round two, we're having trouble with New Orleans. We're down 3-1 in the series, and this team is led by Chris Paul, so they're going to be pretty tough to get past. We're going to take game five. Let's see if we can at least force seven. Oh, we are. Can we somehow make this 3-1 comeback? That would be crazy. I don't want to be that guy, but Chris Paul is known for blowing leads, and look what happened. We came back from down 3-1 against Chris Paul. Blake Griffin is playing like the greatest ever, averaging 30 points and 16 rebounds in these playoffs. Paul George, kind of a playoff P type of performance, if you know what I'm saying. But it was enough to get us to the conference finals, where we're taking on the Oklahoma City Thunder. Now we're going to need Blake Griffin to continue playing like Blake Chamberlain if we want to have any chance to win this series. Game number one is going to go to them. We're going to take game two and game three and game four. We might just go to the finals. They take game five. Let's just close this out in six, punch our ticket to the finals where we'll be facing Chicago. Come on, guys. I need y'all to be locked in. Trip to the NBA Finals on the line, and we've got a four-point game here. Currently, we've got the lead, but the Oklahoma City Thunder have possession of the ball and plenty of time to work with. Landry Fields is going to give it in to Kevin Durant. Why is Chris Kamen guarding KD? Oh, no, this is free eats for Durant. KD's going to knock down the mid-range J. Eric Gordon has the ball. He's trying to get to the basket on Durant, and KD packs it. Now Durant's moving in transition. He's defended by Artez. Beautiful pass down to Mario Chalmers, who smokes the layup. Now Paul George is working on James Harden here. Come on, PG. Let's go to work. Oh, he gets it down to Blake Griffin. Griffin smokes the layup, goes back up with it, and hits it. There's Blake Chamberlain back at it, man. A nice play. He missed the first layup, but got the second chance. Now the Brody has the ball. He gets the screen from Harden. The Brody defended by Paul George. Now it's going to go over to Mario Chalmers. Chalmers back to Russell Westbrook. Shot clock starting to wind down. Russ finds Landry Fields for three, and he knocks it down. There's a reason this Thunder team is so good. They've got a lot of talent. Eric Gordon going to find Paul George under the basket for a standing dunk. 
And now we are up by three, but the Thunder are still in the rear view. Russ gets the screen from James Harden. The Brody trying to work on Paul George finds Mario Chalmers. Chalmers down to Durant and KD gets a layup. The Thunder are getting whatever they want offensively right now. We need to be more disciplined on the defensive side of the ball. Eric Gordon gonna get the screen from Artest. It's poked away by the Brody, but Artest gets it back. Now it goes over to Blake Griffin. Griffin defended by Harden. This is free eats. Go to work on him. Griffin gets the screen from Kamen, and that's a terrible pass. What are you doing? Now OKC is within one. 30 seconds to go. Mario Chalmers has a free layup, and of course it's good. We are folding like an omelet in the clutch right now. It's not looking good. Down by one, 26 seconds to go. If we get a bucket here, we'll regain the lead. But we have been unable to stop the Thunder in the clutch. Paul George has it. He's going to give it down to Blake Griffin. Griffin, defended by Thad Young. Going to the basket. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what to call that move. He's just too big, too athletic, too strong. And now we are up by one, 17 seconds to go. So plenty of time on the clock for the Oklahoma City Thunder to make something happen. Ibaka going to inbound it to Kevin Durant. Durant is defended by Paul George here. KD is just taking his time. He's finally getting in motion. He's going to pull a three ball and he misses. Rebound Ibaka puts it back up and it's good. Did he get it off in time? They're reviewing it right now. Let's see if he got it off. I really couldn't tell. Ibaka goes up with it, and he didn't get rid of it in time. No way. Let's go. It was still in his hands. We definitely got the dub here, and we're moving on to the finals. That is a devastating way for the Thunder to lose. And now we've just got to beat Chicago, and Paul George will already be an NBA champion in just his second season. Shout out to Clipper legend Chris Kamen, 12 of 12. 29 points Blake Griffin 18 and 15 kind of an off night for him but hey that dunk it was absolute insanity and Paul George gave us a smooth 16 not too bad and now it's time for our toughest battle yet the Chicago Bulls we've got auto generated point guard Zach Grant who is a 73 overall guarding Derrick Rose game number one of the series goes to the Bulls game two is gonna go to us game three goes to us it's tied up into a piece headed into game five so y'all already know we gotta get in the simcast and game five is coming down to the wire we're down by one with a minute and nine seconds to go and we have possession of the ball it's gonna go into George George gives it over to Grant this dude's a 73 overall get the ball out of his hands please he gets it down to Blake Griffin in the post Griffin a deep post fade it is good oh my goodness I said post fade. He wasn't even in the post. That was a mid-range fadeaway. Regardless, that was tough. CJ Watson going to get the screen from Kyle Korver. Watson finds Boozer in the post. Booz going to work on Griffin. Good defense from Blake. There you go. And Blake Griffin grabs the rebound. Griffin moving in transition. Gives it over to Gordon. Gordon going to get the screen from Grant. Eric Gordon to the basket. Spins. Finds Blake Griffin for three. And he misses. Boozer grabs the rebound. Pulls down by one here. Where is Derrick Rose? It goes up to Luol Dang Dang to the basket. Layup is off. And we get the rebound. We're going to the foul line for some free throws. Oh, man. That sucks for them. Derrick Rose has fouled out the game. He was kind of having a stinker before he fouled out. First free throw for Griffin. Oh, that looked ugly. It's off. We need at least one out of you, Blake. Come on. Second one is good. 21.6 seconds to go. Chicago is down by two. They've got plenty of time to score here. CJ Watson has it. He gets it down to Boozer in the post and he stepped out of bounds. Oh my gosh. We got absolutely bailed out there. And now our guy Grant, who remembers like a 73, is going to the foul line. He might miss one of these. First shot is cash. Second one for Grant is also good. I owe Grant an apology. I wasn't familiar with this game. He came through on those clutch free throws. Ball goes to Boozer. Boozer over to Dang in the corner. He misses. That's it. We are up 3-2 to two in this series. Let's go. Shout out to PG. 30 points in this one when we needed it the most. And we are one game away from a Larry O'Brien trophy in PG's second year. We've just got to hold on and we'll be NBA champions on our home floor. Up by five here, less than a minute to go. Just do not give up a three-pointer. Derrick Rose going to get the screen from Carlos Boozer. Rose dumps it down to Booze. Layup is good. 
They're within three here, and if we don't score, it can still be a one possession game. So we got to get a bucket. Grant has it. Going to get the screen from Gordon. Paul George isn't on the floor right now, so we'll probably need Blake Griffin to go to work. Griffin in the post, trying to make something happen. Spins, layup is up, and it's off. Oh, no. Chicago can tie it with a three-pointer here. Brewer bringing up the ball. He's trying to get to the basket. Spins off of Griffin. Gives it over to Rose. D. Rose has it at the top of the key here. He's going to reset things and slow it down. He finds Corver. Corver over to Brewer. Brewer in the corner with the shot clock winding down. Gets the screen from Boozer. Brewer to the basket. Gives it over to Noah. Noah over to Rose. Rose going to have to shoot. And he misses. Kamen the rebound and he's going to the line. I'm not too familiar with Chris Kamen's free throw, but I don't know if it's that good. Oh, okay, never mind. That was cash. Second one is also good. So we are going to be NBA champions. We did it in just Paul George's second season. We won the ring. Look at the celebration, man. Oh, this is incredible. Chris Kamen came through again with 29, Paul George with 20, and of course, Blake Chamberlain with 22 points, 16 rebounds. This man is insane. And Blake Griffin wins finals MVP. Well deserved. PG's numbers were down for the playoffs, but hey, we got the job done. And what's great is Paul George still has three more seasons to go with the Clippers, so maybe he could stack up some more rings. PG's up to an 89 for year number three, and Blake Griffin's still getting better as well. This duo is insane. Season is wrapped. D. Rose ends up winning the MVP award, and we got to watch out for OKC. 71 wins. Last year, I think they won 70, and we still took them down. And a lot of that is thanks to this guy, Blake Griffin. He is different. All-NBA first team this season. Still no All-NBA for Paul George and also no All-Defense. I thought he might have made that by now. But this was the best season of his career. 21-7-2 on the season. And we've been the two seed every season of this video. In round number one, we're going to be taking on Sacramento. And we get them out of the way easily. Round two, we got Utah. Again, that's easy. Now it's time for our real challenge, the Oklahoma City Thunder. They just keep getting better year after year. Russ, Harden, KD, these guys are progressing and improving. Game number one of the series goes to us. Game two also goes to us. They're going to take game three and game four, setting up a big game five with the series all tied up. Man, Paul George just wanted to give me a lot of gameplay today. We've got a three-point game, about 50 seconds to go. We're down. OKC has the ball. The Brody at the top of the key. He's going to get the screen from Thad Young. Russ to the basket. He's going to fake. He swings it out to James Harden. Harden with the shot clock winding down gets the screen from Young. He's going to pull the three. That's contested. And the rebound goes to DeAndre Jordan. Now we're giving it to Paul George. We might need a three-pointer here. George trying to work on Kevin Durant to get to the basket. Gives it to Jordan. Jordan over to Gordon. Gordon going to get the screen from Grant. Eric Gordon finds Griffin in the post. And Blake Griffin's going to dunk one home. We needed that. And now we're going to have to play the foul game. James Harden's going to the line to shoot some free throws. First one for the beard is cash. Second one for the beard is also good. So we're down three going into the timeout. 18 seconds to go. I'd assume we go to PG here for a three, but we'll see. Uzo has the ball. He's going to get the screen from Grant. And he's going to pull the three. He misses. Oh, man. And that is going to do it. We end up losing in game five. We needed that one. And now we're facing elimination in game six. And we beat them. We blew them out, matter of fact. 112 to 89. And now we're headed to game seven. It can never be easy for Paul George and the Clippers. We always got to make it intense. Two-point game here about a minute to go, and we have possession of the ball. PG's not in the game right now. Hopefully, he's not fouled out, and he isn't. So it looks like he'll be subbing in soon. He's been going off in this one. He's got 39, and these playoffs have been much better than last year's. The scoring is down a bit, but the efficiency is incredible. Grant has the ball defended by Westbrook. He's going to give it down to Gordon. Gordon back to Grant. Now it goes to Griffin. Man, we have a lot of players with G last names on our team. Griffin gets the screen from DeAndre Jordan. Blake going to pull a short jumper. Miss Jordan on the glass, and he dunks it home. That's going to give us a four-point lead here in Game 7. 44 seconds to go. The Brody bringing up the basketball for OKC. He's going to swing it to Harden. Harden right back to the Brody. Now it goes down to McGee, and JaVale is fouled. You know what? That's fine. I don't expect McGee to hit both of these free throws. With all due respect, first one for McGee is off. Let's go. And now Paul George is checked in the game. Second one for McGee is off. Oh, that's huge. And now they're going to have to foul us. Eric Gordon's going to the line, and he's cash money. I know he'll hit these. First one for EG is good. 
Second for Gordon is all net as well. So we're up by six. As long as they don't hit a three, we should be good to go and punch our ticket to the final. Russell Westbrook has it. He's wasting a lot of time. He gives it over to McGee. McGee out to Harden. Harden going to slow down a bit. He gets the screen from JaVale. Now he's going to pull the three and it's off. That's going to do it. We are going to the NBA Finals. Shout out to Paul George, man. 39 points in this one. And this time in the finals, we've got Miami. Paul George versus LeBron James. Game number one of the series goes to us. We also take game two and game three. We sweep them. Blake Griffin is named finals MVP. And already, Paul George has two NBA championships under his belt in just three seasons. Still two more years to go in LA. Maybe he could add another ring or two to the resume. George is now the best player on the team at a 91. Blake Griffin goes down one, which is kind of weird. But let's get into this season, man. I'm hyped. Season is wrapped. D-Rose, another MVP. I'm just trying to see if we can get this three-peat this year. Blake Griffin makes All-NBA second team. No All-NBA for PG, but we don't even care about that. It's about the championships, man. 63-19 and 19 on the season. George, career high in scoring with 23 points per game on the year. Round number one, we're going to be taking on the Golden State Warriors, and we beat them in six. Round two, it's going to be the Minnesota Timberwolves, and they're giving us some trouble. We're going to go seven with them. Here we go. Minnesota has Kawhi, Mike Bridges, Kevin Love. Oh, this is going to be tough. But our team has been there and done that in the NBA playoffs. Our veteran experience won out in this one. George kind of had a stinker, but Blake Griffin had his back. And overall, this has been the best playoff run of Paul George's career so far. And who do y'all think we got in the conference finals? Of course, it's going to be Oklahoma City. Y'all know the team at this point. We faced them about a million times. Game number one goes to us, game two to them. We're going to take game three. They take game four, setting up a big game five. This rivalry has been incredible between us and OKC. But I'm not going to lie, we kind of got their number. We've been cooking them the past couple of seasons. We're one game away from the NBA Finals, and the Clippers are going to beat us in Game 6, setting up a winner-go-home Game 7 Finals trip on the line. And we've got a big lead. We're going to the Finals again, so Paul George is going to have a chance to repeat here. And we've got another familiar foe, Derrick Rose and the Chicago Bulls. Game number one of the series goes to us. Game two of the series goes to Chicago. Chicago also takes game three. We take game four. So we're tied up headed into game five. And real quick, if you're enjoying the video so far, I'd really appreciate it if you consider subscribing to the channel. We're trying to hit 100K by the end of the year. And it looks like we got him in game five. We are one game away from championship number three for Paul George and also a three-peat. But Chicago's not going to make it easy. We're going seven here with the Bulls. We're up by five here. A minute 16 to go in game seven. Blake Griffin has the ball. He's going to give it up to Gordon. Gordon spins. Layup is up and it's good. Seven point lead. We are so close to winning another NBA championship. Now, Derrick Rose is not in right now for Chicago. So what's up with that? He fouled out. So I guess the Bulls are rocking with Moncrief. Moncrief has it defended by Maggetti. He's going to give it down to Boozer. Booz going to work on Griffin. He kind of faked him out there. But Boozer ended up missing the shot. Now Maggetti has it. Less than a minute to go here. One more bucket would pretty much seal the deal. Corey Maggetti's playing slow, wasting time. That's really smart. And he finds Gordon open for three. That's going to do it. That's championship number three for Paul George. Game seven dub. And Blake Griffin wins another finals MVP. Our team was hooping in game seven. Gordon 31, Blake Griffin 26 and 12, Paul George 23 and eight. And George had the best playoff run of his career to win ring number three. Paul George has had so much success here in Los Angeles. And I'm sad to say this is going to be his final year with the Clippers before he heads to OKC. But remember, the Thunder have a ton of star power too. So once he heads over there, he could very well add a couple more rings to his resume. Season is wrapped. AD going to take home the MVP this year. And check it out. Paul George, all NBA third team, averaging 26 a night this year. And for the first time in the video, we were the number one seed because we ended off the season red hot. A 15-game win streak. That is insane.
Round number one, we're going to be taking on the Utah Jazz, and we beat them in five. Round two, it's going to be OKC. We're tied up at two apiece. We take game five, and we beat them in six. Man, we beat OKC pretty easy this time, and in the conference finals, it's going to be Minnesota. Yeah, I remember this team. They're pretty tough. Game number one of the series goes to them. They're also going to take game two. We take game three, and we take game four. We also take game five, and we beat them in six. We're back in the finals. And in the finals, we're taking on the MVP, Anthony Davis, on the Philadelphia 76ers. They've also got Iggy. Game number one of the series goes to us. We also take game two and game three. Paul George wins four championships in a row with the Los Angeles Clippers, averaging almost 29 points per game in the playoffs. And next, he's going to be spending two years in OKC. And you add Paul George to that stacked Thunder team, I feel like they're definitely going to win two rings. So PG might really win six in a row. I don't think it's a hot take to say this team is the greatest team of all time. Now, in order for this to work, either Paul George or KD is going to have to play the four, and it looks like Kevin Durant and PG both go down minus three. You know what, KD? Take one for the team. You're going to run the four. I want our guy Paul George to go as crazy as possible, so I'm just going to have KD play that power forward spot. Season is wrapped, and the Brody somehow wins MVP on this stack team. I don't understand how he did that. We went 72 and 10 on the season, so shout out to the guys. They were incredible. PG did not make All NBA this year. I guess he had to take a bit of a step back considering the team was so stacked. In round number one, we're going to be taking on the Golden State Warriors and we sweep them. Oh, that reminds me. I forgot to show y'all the stats for the season. Pretty solid considering the players he was alongside of. Now in round number two, we're going to be taking on the Blazers. Oh, shoot. We lost in seven. Bro, I I'm sorry, guys. I expected us to smack them, but we ended up losing to Brandon Roy, Dame, and the Portland Trail Blazers. That is so unfortunate. PG was trash in these playoffs, too. I can't believe we lost with this super team. Well, George still has one more year with the Thunder to try and win ring number five. So let's see if he can do it. Season is wrapped, and this year, of course, we were good. 68 wins. Honestly, though, I thought we'd be a little better. Maybe I'm overestimating the squad. Maybe it's because there's just only one ball, and we have so much talent. Round one, we get past Sacramento easy. Again, I forgot to show you all the stats. There's what PG did. Round two against Phoenix is going to be easy, and now we've got PG's former team, the Clippers. They said, we don't need you. We replaced you with Marcus Morris, and we're still hooping. Game number one of the series goes to us game two to the clippers game three is gonna go to us it's a 2-2 series headed into game five they take game five we take game six setting up a winner go home against blake griffin's former team but we are gonna get the dub in game seven shout out to kd for coming through paul george with a smooth 20 in this one and we're moving on in the finals it's gonna be philly paul george faced them before back when he was with the clippers Game one is going to go to us. Game two is also going to go to us. We take game three and we're going to sweep them. Another championship for George. That is five rings. But unfortunately for PG, it's time for him to move on. He's going to be headed to Indiana. And now Paul George has reached the destination where he'll be spending the rest of his career. Indiana. This team is pretty solid with Porzingis, Darren Williams, Roy Hibbert, Harrison Barnes, even Donovan Mitchell is here. DeJounte Murray's on this team too. Paul George has been blessed with some good teams in this video, so let's see if he can win some rings in Indiana too. Season is wrapped. Anthony Davis wins the most valuable player. Shout out to D. Mitch, Paul George's teammate, winning the Rookie of the Year award. No All-NBA this year for George. I'm kind of surprised by that. I thought he'd be like the leader for this Pacers team. Numbers were pretty solid, though. In round number one, we got New York. We were only the five seed this year. Nothing too crazy. Definitely less success than George is used to. And in this series, we found ourselves down three to zero. But somehow, we've came all the way back. And now we're headed to a game seven. This New York team isn't that good though. I don't know how we got down 3-1 to them in the first place. And it looks like we're gonna lose to the Knicks in the first round. Valiant effort from KP with 35, but Paul George did not have a good game in this one. Only 10 points in 42 minutes. Overall though, great first round performance. Just kind of flared out in that game seven when we needed him most. But the good news is we've got young players on this team who are gonna get better. DeJounte's up to an 80. Donovan Mitchell's up to an 82. KP's up to a 90. So there's hope for the future, and we should continue to get better. 
Bro, Anthony Davis has been winning so many MVPs in this video. It's actually crazy. No All-NBA this year for Paul George, but we were a lot better this season. 58 and 24. The young guys starting to step up and get better. Look at DeJounte. He was basically a cheerleader last year, and this season he's putting up 13, 6, and 8. Round number one, we got the Atlanta Hawks. Speaking of DeJounte and the Hawks, do y'all think he's going to get traded? Where do y'all think he's going to go if he does get traded? Let me know in the comments. I know there's always the Lakers rumors, but it seems like the Lakers DeJounte rumors have been real loud, so I actually think they might get him. And we just beat Philly easy, so we're punching our ticket to the conference finals where we're taking on Orlando with Embiid and Curry. That's a tough duo. We definitely got our work cut out for us, but we're off to a great start. Oh, never mind. They're not even giving us any problems. Oh, okay, okay. Never mind. I owe them an apology. All right, we beat them in six. NBA Finals, we got Phoenix. I mean, they got the Joker, but otherwise, the supporting cast isn't too, too crazy. Game number one of the series goes to us. Game two to the Suns. Game three is going to go to us. Game four also goes to us. And another championship for Paul George. KP wins finals MVP this time. Man, PG can never get that finals MVP. It's really a Steph Curry simulation. But that is six NBA championships in the books. Paul George ties the great Michael Jordan in just nine seasons. We've still got five more years to go in Indiana. Do y'all think PG can make it to eight, nine, ten rings? I don't know, man. I mean, the team's just getting better. Donovan Mitchell's up to an 86 for this year. We're locked in. We're looking real good. Season is wrapped, and look at us, man. 60 and 22 on the year. There's KP on All-NBA. It seems like when you put Paul George with an elite power forward, good things happen. He had Blake Griffin. Now he has Porzingis. George was really good this year. Year, and we were the one seed round number one we're going to be taking on the Atlanta Hawks and we oh my gosh we lost in seven Trey Young and the Hawks end up dropping us off in this one tragic no way we lose as the number one seed bro come on we were coming off a championship too but the guys continue to get better so let's just bounce back in a big way next season and get another championship Man, we got Maxi on this team now, too. The GM's going crazy. Season is wrapped. The Brody wins the MVP award. Hey, shout out to DeJounte making all NBA, averaging 18 and 10 this year. We won 58 games, which tied us with New York in the wins column. Paul George gave us about 20 a night. And in round number one, we got the Boston Celtics. They're the seventh seed. We're the two seed, so we beat them. In round two, we got the Pistons. We beat them. And the conference finals, it's New York. Now, we should be pretty evenly matched. We won the exact same amount of games. So let's get into it. Game number one is going to go to us. Game two also goes to us. PG looking to make the finals and compete for ring number seven. He's here taking on his former team, the Oklahoma City Thunder, who somehow got DeAndre Jordan. Oh my gosh, they're so stacked. Game one of the series is going to go to us. Game two goes to the Thunder. Game three is also going to go to us. It's tied up into a piece, headed into game five. Come on, PG, lock in. Let's get this seventh championship. The Thunder started off hot with a 41 point first quarter and that was too much for us to overcome. PG gave us 31, but it wasn't enough. And we're one game away from elimination. We're gonna force seven though. It all comes down to this. Paul George taking on a team that he used to play for and also a team he had a lot of battles with. He ends up beating them in the finals to win championship number seven. Only nine points, but his guys had his back. Shout out to DeJounte, 25, 7, and 7, and we win another NBA championship. This time it's DeJounte winning finals MVP. Still no finals MVP for our guy PG. We've got three more seasons to go. Paul George is down to a 92. Regression's starting to hit a little bit. But if we can win three in a row, Paul George will have 10 rings. Imagine if we could do that. Now, I'm not saying that's a lock. That's obviously really tough to do. But maybe we could. I mean, the team looks really good. Man, AD went crazy. 37 and 14. That's Anthony Chamberlain, man. <laughs> Shout out to Scott Skiles, the guy who had all those assists that one time. He was the coach of the year for our squad. DeJounte, All-NBA again. Man, DeJounte's him. Paul George gave us a smooth 18. Round number one, we're going to be taking on Chicago. And we take care of them in six. Round two, it's going to be the Milwaukee Bucks. We sweep them. Conference finals, we got New York. And we're headed to a game seven. Here we go. We had a game seven against New York last year, I believe, or one of these years. And now we're doing it again. Let's try and get this dub. And we did it. We're moving on to the finals. A battle against the Oklahoma City Thunder coming up. They're still stacked, man. What did y'all expect? 
Game number one of the series is going to go to us. Game two also goes to us. They take game three and game four, setting up a big game five with the series all tied up. Unfortunately, game five goes to Oklahoma City. We take it out. Just give us one more win so we can force seven. Oh, man. We end up losing to KD, Westbrook, Harden, DeAndre Jordan, and the Thunder. I, I mean, I don't blame us for losing. That team's insane. Clock is ticking to get more rings. Two more seasons to go. Let's see what we can do. Big Z takes home the MVP this season. And I'm not going to lie to y'all. We kind of fell off. Only 48 wins? Come on now. Oh, it's because DeJounte isn't here anymore. I didn't even realize that. So instead of DeJounte, we had Tyrese starting at the one. And that man Tyrese, he's not so great yet. He's only a 79. In round number one, we're going to be taking on Brooklyn. And we're headed to a game seven. Yeah, this net squad's kind of nice, especially since we don't have DeJounte. I'm not confident in our squad's ability to win this one. Maybe I should have been confident, though, because we smacked him in game seven. We're moving on to the second round. Oh, DeJounte didn't leave. We traded him for Dan Strickland. He's an 87 overall, but he's 33. Why would we do that? DeJounte won a finals MVP. That was so stupid. Round number two, we got the Boston Celtics. And we're going to game seven again. Oh my goodness. They've got Luka and Ja. They've also got Lori. This is going to be tough. And we end up losing in the second round. I'm telling y'all, if we had DeJounte, things would have been different. We might have been in the finals competing for a championship. But now it's time for the last dance. Our final season of the video. Can we end it off on the right note with one last ring for Paul George? Final playoff run is about to get started. Are y'all ready? Because I am excited. I want to see if Paul George can get one more. We were the two seed this year. George was solid. Let's get straight into it. Round number one, we got the Milwaukee Bucks. They're the seventh seed. We're the two seed. So that means we should win and we do exactly that. Round two, we got the New York Knicks. And we came back from down 3-0. You know, some slight, light little 3-0 comeback. Conference Finals, it's going to be the Pistons led by Giannis. And they've also got Kyrie. That's a tough duo for sure. Game number one of the series goes to us. Game two is going to go to them. We take game three and game four. Come on, PG. Come on, PG. We're in the finals taking on the Golden State Warriors led by Big Z. Zion's had multiple MVPs. DeAndre Aiden's in 95. Whatever, man. Let's get into it. Game one goes to the Warriors. Game two also goes to the Warriors. We take game three. They take game four. We take game five. Come on, let's force seven. It would be crazy if we came back from down 3-1 in Paul George's final year. We've got a minute 30 to go here. We're up by one, and the Warriors have the ball. It's going to go into Zach Levine. Levine looking for DeAndre Ayton in the post, but he can't find him. So he's going to have to go to work himself. We're playing some solid defense on Levine, though. Shot clock starting to wind down. He swings it out to Reed. Reed over to Williamson. Williamson down to Ayton, and DeAndre Ayton, the mean poster. DeAndre Ayton being a 95 overall is just insanity to me, and he gets a mean dunk right there. Peyton's bringing up the ball for the Pacers, gets the screen for Mitchell, and dumps it down to KP. Porzingis' pulse fade is good. That's a huge bucket right there to answer the DeAndre Ayton dunk. Levine bringing it up for the Golden State Warriors. Screen's going to come from Aiden. Aiden's rolling, and DeAndre Aiden is eating right now. Oh, my goodness. Now Donovan Mitchell has it. D. Mitch is known for being a clutch player, so hopefully he can have one of his signature playoff moments right here. Screen comes from Patton. Mitchell dumps it down to Porzingis. KP down to Hughes. Hughes layup is up, and it's off. And now the Warriors have the ball. Zion going to give it up to Levine. Levine mid-range is off. We get the rebound. 30 seconds to go here, and we're down by one. Chris stops Porzingis bringing it up. He's got the mismatch on Lonnie Walker the fourth. He just needs to get in the post. Back him down. Oh, Peyton's open for three, and he knocks it down. Let's go. We've got a two-point lead, 21 and a half seconds to go. Just don't do anything stupid. Don't give up any buckets. Lonnie Walker the fourth has it. He gives it up to Aiden. Aiden to the basket, and he's fouled. And DeAndre's a 95, so I bet he'll knock both these down. First one is cash. Second one for DA is also good, so we're all tied up. 17 seconds to go, headed into the timeout. I need our coach to lock in, draw up the greatest play of all time. And in a situation like this, you want to hold for the last shot. We don't want to leave an opportunity for the Warriors to win it. It's going to go into Peyton. Peyton playing pretty slow here. He's just going to wait it out. We're trying to waste some time, which is good. Now things are getting into motion. Screen's going to come from Peyton. He finally uses it. Gives it down to KP. Layup is up and it's good. 
Only 1.4 seconds to go. Please don't go in. Don't tell me this goes in. All right. We are moving on to game seven. Paul George has a chance to complete the 3-1 comeback in the final season of this video. Porzingis comes through with 29, PG with 27, and we've just got to get one more dub. Game seven is underway. Warriors off to a really good start. We got to fight back. Come on. We're getting back in it. It's getting closer. Oh, it's too late. We end up getting smacked in game seven. PG with 23 points, but it's not going to be enough. And the Warriors win the chip. Shout out to Paul George, though. Seven championships is insane. That's it for the video. Have a great day. Be sure to like and subscribe.